Hello again, and this week we are about 45 minutes drive away from Chorley and we're in the East Lancashire market town of Clitheroe. Um, you know, it's very nice in this, in this area of the world, but it's a very windy night tonight as we've climbed up to, uh, to Clitheroe Castle. Not a massive climb, but a lot of steps to get up here and uh, just some amazing views across the Lancashire countryside from, from here. And behind me is uh, one of the most popular hills of all, um, Pendle Hill. Um, renowned for its witches and, uh, and a lot of people like to go walking up there and see what's up there. As you know, or you probably don't know, it's about 500 metres high so there's a lot, of, um, a lot of walking in the area. What we're going to try to do is photograph it. Now we are at Pendle Castle, sorry not Pendle Castle, Clitheroe Castle, which is the building behind me. You can't really see it in the frame because it's, uh, it's got the corner of it in the video frame. Not a very wide angle lens on the video I'm afraid. And I've got some kids playing down below which uh, we'll try and ignore. Um, but what we are going to try and do, we're going to try and photograph the castle with this, this footpath below as a leading line into Pendle Hill in the background with the clouds that are, uh, that are bumbling around and, and you know, some quite nice definition in those, in those clouds this evening, so hopefully we'll, we'll pull that out. Now what we won't be able to see on the top of this castle is a flag. We're going to try and capture that because I've got my camera in a portrait mode tonight, so I'm going to do a portrait shot. Um, and we'll try and capture that flag. Now that flag's moving a lot because of the wind. And there go the kids again, running in circles. You'd think they might get dizzy if they ran around fast enough. But um, we're going to try and catch that flag. And because it's moving quite a lot with the wind, we... Bye kids, bye bye, off you go. Um, we are going to try and, uh, and use a fast shutter speed. So no new fluid density filters tonight, no filters at all other than a polarizer, just to give a little bit more definition to those clouds. Lens choice, wide, because we are quite close to this castle. We can't go any further away because literally we've We'd be over the edge of the railings and, uh, and, and down the hill. So we, we do need to go quite wide. So I'm shooting at about 16 mil on a, on a Tamron 15 to, to 30 lens. Sorry, 15, 24 lens. And um, here come the kids again. Off they go, round and round and round they go. When they get dizzy, who knows? So we're shooting with this wide angle lens from Tamron uh, on, a, on a Nikon D850. And as I say, I've got, it, I've got it in a portrait to get the height of that castle in with the flag on the top and then also to pick up this path at the bottom. Shutter speed needs to be relatively quick. And it needs to be relatively quick so we get a little bit of movement in that flag but not too much. We're also going to use a nice sort of average um, aperture to, to get the depth of field of, of, this, of this castle in but also to get the, 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 the hill in the background um, nicely in focus also. So that's going to be set to F10. <laughs> because the light is dimming a little bit and I do want that, um, that shutter speed, I'm also using ISO 200. So recap really quickly, ISO 200. Um, bye everybody. Um, <laughs> sorry, ISO 200, F10, 1 50th of a second. And that should just give me a little bit of movement in the uh, in the flag. So let's take that picture and see and see what comes out. Luckily all the kids have gone so let's just snap on the edge of the castle there. Click. Yeah you know that, that's come out a little bit better than I thought it would do. So let's have a look at that look at that picture. So we've got that lovely leading line from the path down below. We've got um, we've got the castle with all the detail in the stone. We've managed to get one of the uh, the arrow slits um, nicely on a third on the on the right hand side. Uh, we've got the, the flag at the top with a little bit of movement in it and then way off in the distance we've got we've got Pendle Hill. So, you know, it, it's not an artistic photograph, it's just a pleasant picture of uh, Pendle Hill with uh, Clitheroe Castle in the foreground. Thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you again next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.